the Glock 17 Gen 5 paintball gun. Let's see this thing shoot. What it do, baby? That bit pressure. This thing just shot through the cardboard box and it's still intact. This thing will literally fracture a rib. Bro, this thing is not a toy. This is a weapon. This is a stun gun. On the directions, it says this weapon may be dangerous up to 220 yards. That's two football fields. This thing probably more effective than a taser. Morning. All stunts performed in this video were conducted by trained professionals in a safe, controlled environment. Super safe. Do not try this at home. What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another video, man. And today, we are going to be unboxing the Glock 17 Gen 5 paintball gun. Yes, you heard me right. Paintball gun. I was just made aware of a Glock paintball gun, and y'all know I had to purchase it. I paid $329.95 for this thing, so it better be good. And I also bought some paintballs that cost me $30. So in total, I paid around $400 for this new Glock paintball setup. It better be worth it because I could have took that money and bought me a real Glock. Now, this will be my second paintball gun. Y'all know that I have the Tipman Cronus .68 caliber um, paintball marker. So these are different caliber weapons. This is a .68 and the Glock is a .43, I believe. 0.43 yes that's correct so they do not take the same size paintballs so i ordered a thousand paintballs for this gun but i have to order a complete separate supply of ammo that's a different caliber paintball i didn't even know they had different caliber paintballs so i think 300 dollars for a paintball gun isn't too bad i can't remember off the top of my head how much i paid for this but um the glock replica paintball gun Obviously, it's going to cost some money. It's a paintball plus it's a Glock. And it's manufactured with the actual Glock company. So, you know, they're going to whack you for it. Without further ado, let's get into this unboxing, man. Oh, is that a Glock case I see? Or is that just a regular black case? It looked like just a regular black case. Does it say Glock on it? No, it says Umarex. Umarex is the company that makes the airsoft and the paintball replicas of Glocks. So I actually do have the airsoft Glock 17 Gen 4. This will be a Gen 5. This is a Gen 4, but we're going to use this kind of to compare it to the Gen 5 Glock 17. But this is the airsoft version. So we are going to be comparing it to the paintball version. Here we go, man. I kind of wish that it came in the actual Glock box like so but you know it is what it is man we're not gonna complain how do i open this thing pretty sure you just slide slide these things over yep 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 Ooh, nice foam padding and is that uh a locking cable in there as well i like the padding it's the extra padding from the bottom to the top not just normally they do it from just the top down not right here but they got extra padding, the whole case is padded. Let's go ahead and take the gun out. And the little, I think this is the cleaning tube, I don't know. I don't know much about paintball, so y'all correct me. I still don't know much about airsoft. I still don't know much about anything. So y'all just, y'all correct me in the comments. I'm always um open to y'all suggestions and y'all corrections in the comments. So um, let's see this thing. Here it is, the Glock 17 Gen 5 paintball gun. Fresh out the packaging. This is brand spanking new, paid $330 for it. First impressions of the gun, it is actually heavily weighted. This thing feels the most accurate compared to any airsoft replica that I've ever felt. If someone put this Glock 17 in front of me and the real firearm, I would not be able to tell the difference. I'm not going to lie, it feels pretty heavy. It looks the exact same with a serial number on the back. There is some type of other branding on the slide, so you could tell the difference by there. But all the other features of this Glock are the exact same of a real firearm. As you can tell, it has the Gen 5 front serrations as well as the back serrations. I really love that. It looks very clean. Has the under rail guard for the attachments if you want to throw a O-Light, a Sure-Light, whatever attachments you guys got, throw it on there. Um, 
it has the real grip for the Gen 5, just the, the dotted grip all along, no finger grooves on the handle, the Glock logo on the handle as well, the mag release, drop free magazine, a slide catch, the trigger safety. Oh, this thing looks clean. Let's look at those Gen 5 sights. Very beautiful, nice and level. Field goal post, man. The little field goal post right through the uprights. And the markings on the Glock, Glock 17 Gen 5 Austria .43 caliber paintball marker. Oh, we man, this thing is beautiful. Something about those Glocks, man. They're just so beautiful to me. I love all of them. I want all of them. No orange tip, no um, indication on the barrel of a paintball gun. This thing looks very accurate. Very, very accurate to a real firearm. And that hole on the front, boy, this thing look like it's about to shoot out a missile. That don't look like no 40 cal. That look like a damn bazooka launcher. Hold on. I actually have my Glock 23 40 caliber Gen 5. This is a Gen 5 Glock 23. So Glock 17 Gen 5, Glock 23 Gen 5. We the Gen 5 babies. So if you compare those, the paintball marker actually has a bigger barrel than the actual Glock 23 firearm. And right now I'm flagging y'all like crazy. Put your hands up. <laughs> Nah, my fault y'all. I was just trying to show y'all how big that barrel is like my goodness Them paintballs that are coming out of this thing are going to hurt. I'm already knowing this thing hurts It is co2 powered. We haven't even taken a look at the magazine yet, but Actually if the paintballs are that big, I doubt that the mag capacity is more than 10. There's no way does it actually say the mag capacity is eight rounds so that's what I was thinking with that big of a paintball and this small of a magazine, there's no way this thing holds a lot of rounds, which is very good because when we do a spin the bottle challenge with this gun, that means you can only shoot eight shots. So whoever's running will not get sprayed by this thing. But now it is time to open that mag up, man. We're gonna drop that mag. Ooh, that thing got some weight to it as well. Most of the weight is found in that magazine. So this is CO2 powered. As you guys can tell, it is CO2 powered through the CO2 tanks in the back. Um, there is the release valve, I believe, at the top. Um, it has a spring, so you pull the spring down and load the paintballs through this hole right here at the top, I believe. So you just go ahead and pop those paintballs into the top while holding down the spring and it will load eight rounds into your magazine now this mag holds eight rounds it also can hold 0.43 caliber rubber rounds yes you can load rubber rounds into this gun and reuse them i prefer just to use the paintball guns because it's more entertaining for the challenges in the videos if you loading this thing up with rubber pellets and shooting people with it you bad, bro. I don't even know. Like, that's what the police be doing when people get in them big crowds and they get to spraying them rubber pellets at them. They probably be using this whole time. I don't know. The cops probably do got these, but I'm just going to stick to the paintballs, bro. I don't know about y'all. I'm going to stick to the paintballs. It's going to be more expensive because you're using the ammo one time, but the rubber pellets you could reuse. Maybe if you're trying to get some target practice handling the firearms, the rubber pellets would be a good decision to make if you want to save money and you know reuse your shots but for me i think i'm just gonna load this thing up with some paintballs and see how it shoots so let's see how that slide functions is it a full blowback or a half blowback um i would say that's full does it lock back uh it's like half so as you can tell the slide does function back and forth but the lock it's like a half lock, not a full lock. So I believe when you shoot the gun, it would probably go no more than that much of a blowback. I doubt that the gun will actually slide all the way back like a real firearm and lock back in this position. It would probably just slide back at that half rate right here. It's still very cool to see the slide functioning, but of course it's not gonna slide all the way back because there are no shells being ejected from the chamber, so the paintball gun is going to come out and CO2 might leave from the chamber. That's about it. But one more final look at this thing, and then we are going to load it up.
So here we go, man. Final looks at it. It does have a serial number. I'm pretty sure that the serial number is the same for all of them. I doubt they put any time or effort changing that up. So we all have the same serial number. Please do not catch any bodies or do anything illegal with my paintball gun because they will track it back to me. But as you can see, the serrations are very nice. Little attachment rail right there. Um, some more markings under the trigger guard. Magwell is nice. Y'all know I love that nice curve on the Glock 17 handle, but I like the compactness of the Glock 19 slide, so that's why I love the Glock 19 next so much. It takes the compactness of the Glock 19 with the frame and the handle of that Glock 17, so it's just like the best of both worlds. But I do have a, a slight feelings for the Glock 17 as well, you know. I got feelings for you. I hope you're not loving the crew. What 21 Savage say? Something like that, but. All right, so here is the Glock 17 Gen 5 paintball gun. Here is the Glock 17 Gen 4 airsoft gun. So if we compare them, they're basically identical. They are the same thing. One is a Gen 5, one is a Gen 4. The only difference that I can tell is the slide serrations in the front. So other than the front serrations, these things are twinsies. Actually, finger grooves. Gen 4 has finger grooves, Gen 5 does not and the front serrations. So that's the difference between this Glock 17 Gen 5 and the Gen 4. Hey man, enough talking. I said this was gonna be the final looks at this thing. Let me show y'all the front again. Front serrations, markings, Glock 17 Gen 5 Austria .43 caliber paintball marker. I wonder if the takedown pins work on this thing. Wow, hold on. It has a very smooth trigger and a great reset. If you guys can hear that, I will. Boom. Boom. That is a very smooth trigger. This trigger might be smoother than the actual Glock triggers. That's crazy. Let me try that. This is a real Glock trigger. We are clear. Gen 5 Glock 23. Hmm. Wow. That reset is just very smooth. I like that. I wonder if it's going to wear down the more that I use it. It probably will, but... Those first couple shots, that trigger reset is very smooth. And this thing looks flawless and it's running to perfection right now. But the question is, will it shoot these paintballs at a high fire rate? And will this thing hurt? Which I believe it will. So I do actually have a CO2 tank ready for this magazine as well as some paintballs to load this thing up. So let's get to it. Both products will be linked in the description. So if you guys are interested in ordering this exact same set that I purchased, check the link in the description. I have the paintball marker as well as the paintballs linked on Amazon. You guys can go buy it for yourselves. Ooh, I like the color of these paintballs. I always try to choose the brightest color ones because when we do the challenge videos, I want you guys to see where we're actually getting hit because they did have black paintballs on the website, but I figured they would just blend into our clothing. But a bright purple, pink, or yellow is always good to stand out on our clothing for you guys to see. So we got some of these .43 markers. They're really small. They're like Skittles. Can you guys see that? I don't know what else to compare it to. They're like the size of Skittles. Maybe a little bit bigger than a Skittle, but they're pretty much the size of Skittles. And you just go ahead and pull this spring down on the side of the magazine. And just load it in through the top. Boom. Now I have one round. Let's count them out. That's one. That's two. That's three. That's four. That's five. Six, seven, and eight. Ooh, that eighth round is like not trying to go in. I had to pull that spring all the way down to get that eighth round in. So they were right, the mag capacity is eight rounds. I really like how this magazine loads. It loads very easily. The spring 
didn't give me any resistance. I just pressed down. I have been hitting the weight room a little bit, so you know I'm a little strong, but you also have no problem loading this mag. Very easy to feed it into the top hole. And before I actually go ahead and put that CO2 into the magazine, I actually want to see how the gun functions with the rounds inserted with no gas. So before we do this, I'm going to put on my safety protection because we are very safe on this channel and I am a professional in a safe and controlled environment. I'm trained and I'm a trained professional. So we're gonna go ahead and take our Glock 17 Gen 5 paintball marker and I'm actually gonna lock the slide back. So it doesn't lock back very far, it's more of a half blowback. But then I'm going to insert the magazine and I can see exactly where the magazine lined up. So that's why it's a half blowback because the way that the magazine is designed, the magazine actually hits the top of the slide and it allows the paintball gun to shoot from the slide position instead of loading from the magazine and functioning like this, like a real firearm, is gonna function just straight out from that position. So as you can tell, that is the magazine all the way up to the actual top of the gun. So when I release that slide catch right here, now, no paintball will come up, so that means that there is now one in the head. So upon pulling the trigger, there should be no air forcing this one out. I should be able to pull the trigger and it will simply just roll out of the barrel. So let's try. Hopefully there's no gas in this thing. I did not load it, but it might somehow still shoot. You always want to treat a firearm like it's loaded. So I'm going to point it at a safe direction at my bed pillow. So if it shoots my pillow, I'm just going to have to wash the sheets. But here we go. Ah, the anticipation is killing me. All right, y'all ready? Three, two, one. Damn. Took a lot of force to um, pull that trigger. It was like six, seven pounds of force. I don't know why I was doing that. I was having trouble pulling it with one hand. I had to switch to two fingers, but it still did not shoot. So I believe this thing will not function without the gas. I'm trying to drop the magazine, but it's seeming like it is jammed, so it's giving me a little trouble. I think I might have jammed this thing. I broke it by not putting any gas in it. It said, why are you trying to shoot me with no gas in it, bozo? You supposed to put some gas in me. You're supposed to gas me up. I already done broke this thing, and I didn't even, I didn't even get to shoot it yet. All right, so I don't think that was a great idea. It did not load. I believe that this magazine is going to require gas inside of it before it even allows you to release one of the paintball markers or rubber ball pellets. So we're going to have to load this thing up. This is where I definitely need my eye protection, but it's very simple to load the CO2 tank. You want to make sure that the screw at the bottom is all the way down, all the way down. Then you want to slide this side up first, up into the gun, and then bottom at the bottom make sure that it's flat and it's adjusted all the way in you don't want it to be slanted you want it all the way in you can even hold it flat like this on the side so that you know it's flat and flush and slide it all the way up then that's when you start to screw it so i believe that this magazine okay see that's what i figured you can just turn the bottom of the mag you can make it finger tight by just bending it with your fingers so I want to make it finger tight as tight as I can and once it is actually locked in like that that is when you actually turn the magazine plate back so you want to release it turn it as tight as you can and then puncture it back by spinning the magazine back I hope this is the correct way to do it we should hear it puncture if this is right as you can tell it's in there pretty tight but turning this magazine should be the final touch just heard the puncture it's very tight to the turn like oh my goodness i think i might have did it too tight all right damn my hand's starting to cramp up man i think i heard it puncture so i'm not sure if i did it tight enough but as you can tell the co2 is in there pretty tight this magazine just got even heavier now so now this gun is about to weigh like three pounds this gun's about to weigh some heavy weight so the magazine is dropping out very fast as you can tell that thing shoots out like if you run out of ammo you could just flip your gun like this press that and it will shoot out and hit them like that, that's a weapon right there you go Woo! all right now the thing is fully loaded 
um, we have the paintballs inside, the last thing to do is shoot it. Now, I hope that it functions correctly. I hope that I put that magazine and the green gas in or the CO2 tank in, the CO2 cartridge in correctly. But the last thing to do is to test this thing. So I hope I don't get uh, paint splattered everywhere in my room, but I'm going to attempt to shoot inside of this box. All right, guys, so I know it may still look like I'm at my apartment, but I'm actually at a warehouse right now. This is all CGI. I paid a software company to uh, re-edit all the background and stuff to make it look like I'm still at home. So to my leasing office, if you're watching this video, this was not conducted in my apartment. And um, this is also AI. I'm not even recording this video right now. This is an AI robot, so enough talking, man. So here it is, the Glock 17 Gen 5 paintball gun. Let's see this thing shoot. Oh, I know you lying. I know you lying. Boy, I know you lying. This thing just shot, bro. My life, this thing just shot through the cardboard box and it's still intact. I'm never doing a paintball war with this thing. This thing is lethal. This thing is lethal. Bro, this thing, no sir, bro. This is for police use. Why are they selling this on Amazon? This thing will, this thing is gonna kill somebody. I'm looking at the box like, bro, did the ball explode? No, this is damn near a rubber pellet. This thing just went through cardboard. You think BB guns hurt? This thing will literally fracture a rib. Yo, this is not a toy. I take back, yeah, this thing is only to be used for recreational use, like target practice. You might as well go outside. I'm gonna take this thing to the range. Why do the magazine not wanna drop after you uh, just shot a round? Is it because it's already functioning the next round? I was gonna put this uh, same paintball right back into it. Oh my goodness. So we do have to keep that in mind. It was a fresh CO2 cartridge inside of the magazine, as well as us only being three feet away from the target. It was able to tear through a whole cardboard box though. So that power is nothing to play with. I will try to scoop back and dump the rest of the magazine, but I don't think that's really gonna change too much. Three, two, one. Boy. This thing is jamming or something? Like, I'm pulling the trigger. Let me pull that slide back. I think you have to pull the slide back after every shot. Never mind. I guess it was just malfunctioning. Did it even shoot? It didn't shoot anything. I think my gun is just jammed right now. Is there something wrong with my gun? Cause the magazine is not dropping out. And okay, there we go. See, sometimes I have to tap the slide. It's like a jam, like a real life jam. Like you gotta tap and pull. No rounds were actually shot that whole time. Only the first round was shot. Let's try this one more time, man. I'm gonna release the slide catch, insert the magazine, put on my safety protection glasses, and we're gonna dump this mag again. Let's get it, man, here we go. Yo, this thing is like a real firearm. The slide locked back, the magazine is cleared, I'm at awe, like, I'm in awe. I'm not even speaking right. This thing shoots like a real firearm. Like, I feel like there's some real recoil coming out of this paintball gun, and I feel like what I'm shooting is causing real damage. Like, I was nervous that it was gonna go through the cardboard and, and go through the door. Let's check the box, man. Oh my gosh. You guys see this? No balls busted. Out of eight rounds, no balls busted. All of the paintballs are still intact. And look at this cardboard box. It went through, every single shot went through the cardboard box, front and back. This thing is a beast, where's that? 
this thing is a beast this is a real weapon when i searched how to tighten the co2 cartridge inside the magazine there was grown men on here talking about they edc this like this is their actual non-lethal edc you could use this to stun somebody like this is a real weapon this thing probably more effective than a taser especially within five feet like if you were right here and i'm like and i'm like right here oh my goodness oh my goodness and if you get hit in the face with this thing good luck charlie bro this thing is not a toy this is a weapon this is a stun gun on the directions it say please do not use as a toy this weapon may be dangerous up to 220 yards that's two football fields this thing is dangerous within two football fields I'm not doing any challenges with this video with this gun. I'm not doing no I don't even I can't speak. I'm not doing no challenge videos with this gun. Dangerous within 220 yards. I'll be damned. I'll be damned. This thing is a real gun. I'm about to load up another eight rounds. We about to get crazy. I'm gonna do another mag dump. I wanna do it again. I wanna do it again and again and again. Hold on man. Let's see how easily that magazine loads up again. Yo, I wonder how many rounds each CO2 cartridge can actually shoot. Probably somewhere between like 40 and like 60 if I had to guess. So that would be about 40 divided by 8. I could probably get at least like 8 good magazine dumps out of each CO2 cartridge, I would hope. So let's go ahead and um, put those safety protection glasses back on. Set up our target once again. I hope it's not hurting my door. Hey, I said I hope it's not hurting my door. Bro, I have this green screen set up, right? I'm gonna have to set up a pillow behind it too. Bro, y'all look at this. This is a CGI by the way. This is all fake um, edited videos, right? This is all edited. This is all edited video CGI. That's not actually real on the door. So just for the sake of the CGI, I'm just going to go ahead and um, set this up behind the green screen so that uh, that doesn't happen again on the video. All right, now that we have a fake pillow set up, I'm actually going to be shooting the cardboard box again. None of the balls busted, which was very surprising to me because I thought at least one of the balls would bust. But all of the paint balls are still intact. We do have a pillow set up behind the cardboard box, behind the CGI green screen. We're not actually in my apartment right now. Here we go, man. Glock 17, Jam 5 paintball gun, mag dump, part two. Glock 17, Jam 5, baby. Paintball gun, the real deal. Let's see it. Woo! I think it jammed up again. Hold on, y'all. What it do, baby? That bit pressure. Big pressure. Did it again. It keeps locking back with the slide and the uh, trigger is locking back in place. And I'm having to rack the slide to load another round. I don't know why it's doing that, man. Come on. It's doing it again. That's why I got the front serrations. We're going to need the front serrations if it keep jamming like this and I can't even shoot a whole magazine. I don't know why it's doing that to me. Why are you doing that to me? It's not even, bro, no way it wasn't shooting nothing that whole time. I'm starting not to like this thing. I don't know if it's a problem with my CO2 cartridge, but this thing acting bad. Get the switch, he acting bad. Right there. Come on. There we go. There we go. All right, now it's actually functioning. I don't know what happened, but let's try that again from the iPhone. All right, so I just had to take the magazine out, tap the uh, slide again, and now it's functioning. So let's try this again.
that was fun when it's actually functioning correctly that was fun when it's actually functioning correctly i want to do it again let's do it 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 yo i just thought of something so these paintballs are hitting the cardboard box from a couple feet away and not exploding. Imagine if you froze these. If you were to put these paintballs in a freezer and freeze them over and then shoot people with them, that would be insane, man. I'm not going to lie. All right, let's get another mag about this thing. Here it go. The slide is locked back. Let me go ahead and place it in the forward position. I don't want to slap the magazine in there too hard, so I'm just going to insert it lightly. There we go, I believe. You might gotta tap the top of the slide real quick and it should be ready to fire now. So here we go, let me get that other iPhone angle back up for y'all real quick. And let's see that thing shoot, man. Now shoot properly like I told you. It's already jamming up again, man. What's going on? I'm gonna try it again. Tap, tap, tap. I think it's good now. Tap, tap, tap. tap. so we found the trick for it the problem occurs when the magazine is too highly inserted and you're gonna have and you're gonna have to repeatedly bang the top of your slide to get that magazine to actually align with the barrel and allow it to shoot but let's check the damages real quick man we already know the damage is gonna be brutal brutal man brutal oh my goodness all shots went through, and some of the shots even had to go through tape. And they're going straight through the box and the tape, man. Look at that. All of the rounds are still here, all intact. And you can see pieces of the tape actually ripped off the box because that's how high force, how much velocity these beads have. And they're not even exploding. I thought these were paintballs. These are not paintballs. These are bullets, man. These are rubber beads. Do not buy this, bro. This is a weapon. I had to put a pillow up. There's probably holes in my pillow. You can actually see punctures and in the indentions from the little beads going through cardboard, a layer of fabric, and then hitting the pillow after. So this is insane, man. Well, guys, I think it's safe to say most of y'all are going to have to sit this one out. The Glock 17 Gen 5 paintball marker it's not a toy at all in no way should a kid under the age of 18 own this the force that it shoots these beads out is way too fast it's not even exploding the little paintballs they're actually going through cardboard and still traveling at a high speed enough to put dents in our cgi door it's insane bro like this thing should require a driver's license at least you got to be at least 16 to buy this thing because if they got laws on the bb guns this paintball gun is the most insane paintball gun that I've shot. If I were to shoot this paintball gun from this close, I still believe that the .68 Tipman Cronus caliber um, paintball guns would explode. But the .43, since they're smaller and more compact, I feel like they're traveling faster, causing them not to explode, and they got a higher velocity. So this thing, I would recommend it only for target practice shooting and for firearm safety, like outside recreational use only. As far as rating it one through 10, I think this thing gets a smooth eight because although it is a gen five, very beautiful features, everything functions and all the accessory rails and everything is fine and dandy. There is a problem when loading the magazine. I've encountered it multiple times. I don't believe it's my fault because I've inserted the magazine fast and I've inserted it slow. It's always a problem where I have to tap the top of the slide to get the magazine to align with the barrel. So I don't know, man, $350 for this. If you're a paintballer, I could see it. If you're trying to get recreational use and you're gonna use this with CO2 and rubber pellets to go out in the backyard, practice aligning the iron sights, shooting a target, great. It's pretty much like shooting a 22. 
like you're gonna get minimum recoil and lots of shots to go on target so it's a lot of good practice a lot of great reps that you can get out of this thing but as far as the use of it on my channel partaking in challenges with it and me getting shot with it i do not see it happening i'm just gonna tell you that right now i do not see myself or anyone getting shot with this on my channel but just to have it in my collection and shoot it for fun outside could be cool but i definitely will not be sliding on D-Boogie this video man i am not going to do it to him comment down below what y'all think of this glock 17 gen 5 paintball gun do you guys think that this thing is too op or do you think that it's cool and i'm just overreacting i'll be damn i'll be damn if somebody shoots me with this thing that's puncturing holes in a cardboard box and putting holes in the door. I don't care if I'm five feet away or 50 feet away. If I get hit with this thing, we throwing hands, bro, I don't care. So this one might be uh, just for recreational use only. Like I said, comment down below what you guys think of it. Is it a cop or a drop? And is this thing really powerful or am I just overreacting? I don't know. I just think this thing's too powerful for any kid under the age of 16. Thank you guys for watching this full video. Make sure you stay tuned for some lit unboxings, more challenges, and banger videos all in all. So I appreciate y'all. I'm going to catch y'all on my next video, man. Ooh, that 17 frame got that little booty on her. Smack on the booty paws. Hey, this is a family-friendly channel, but I'm about to get prone for y'all.